The idea of trusting a father figure can bring up different emotions, some loving and reassuring, for others, pain and even fear. But we are perfectly loved by a God who is always trustworthy. His faithfulness never wavers. Today, we are learning how to trust in the Lord with all our heart. I love my dad so much, and one of the things that he imparted in, in my, myself, but I'm sure all of my siblings as well, is the importance of trusting God. We were raised yeah. in the inner city of Detroit, Michigan. Sometimes we had locks on our doors. Sometimes uh, we didn't have doorknobs on our doors, you know? But he would always say, I trust God. You know, wow. I would wake up sometime in the wow. middle of the night, and he would just be pleading the blood over all of us, yeah. you know, wow. anointing our heads with oil, climbing over us, you know. Uh, let me get you, let me get you, you know? Sometimes I I wake up in the middle of the night and he's like, yes, shalom, baba. he's like speaking yes. in tongues. I'm like, this guy is crazy. <laughs> There's something wrong with my dad. <laughs> um, but, but as you get older, you understand um, why he was doing what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And, and you yes. under, I begin to understand why he trusted God more than anything else or anybody else. And, and I'm just so grateful. One of the moments, and I've shared this before, I think, on, on this show is... You know, the, the day I lost my second eldest brother, and when Ronald, we were all around him in the hospital, and when Ronald uh, uh, took his last breath, my, my father's hands went up and went, he went right into worship. And uh, that, that just marked my life for the rest of my life. It wow. was just wow. like, he wow. just said, I, we, we got to praise God. We, we, wow. I, I trust you. And he just wow. began to pray, God, we trust you. We thank wow. you for giving us Ronald. And his reaction was just so, I was just like, how do you do that when you've lost your son? You know, but that's wow. when you totally trust God, when you totally wow. trust your father, when you've come into a relationship where even your worst days, your most painful days, you can still trust him. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's easy yeah. to say you trust them when you're not going through anything when things are going easy. You really find out how much you trust God in your darkest moments. Yeah. 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 You know? And so I just thank God that that, that that happened and I saw that because it just took me to another level in trusting God um, with my pain, with my brokenness. The Bible tells us that he's near to the brokenhearted yeah. and he really is. But another thing I learned from my father that has taught me to trust God is the power of praise. Yes. You know, yes. the power of praise and worshiping him. The Bible tells us that God inhabits the praises of its people. Yes. And so I have learned throughout the years that, you know, that the garment of praise really does lift the spirit of heaviness. Mm -hmm. But yes. it also shows that you trust God, yes. you know, uh -huh. when you can lift up your hands in the middle of the battle. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and give him praise. He shows up. Mm -hmm. And every time he shows up, you know what? It deepens my trust in him. Come yeah. on. You know, yes. so I can, all I have to do is look back and say, you know what? You know, when you serve a God who has a perfect record like we have, like yeah. he has, you know what I'm saying? We have a father yeah. who actually has a perfect record. Yeah. And you can yes. look back and know that he has never failed me. Mm -hmm. yes. And Lisa, you said it early, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the mm. son of man that he should repent. Mm -hmm. It's not even in him. He can't. He can't. Mm. He yeah. can't. Mm -hmm. And so that will cause you to trust him. One of my favorite scriptures in the Bible says in Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. Lean not to your own understanding, because that's when you get in trouble. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> when you try to make sense of things. And, and I think, Lisa, yeah. you said it earlier about falling in love with the presence of God. Yeah. You know, in the presence of God, things happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that, that really you can't put words to. I just know that when I enter his presence, I never come out the same way. Yeah. You know, because yes. you kind of get a chance to get a glimpse of who he is and how powerful he is. And so you can trust him more. Ooh. Because really, what is a relationship without trust? Ah, uh, great. Right. What is a relationship without trust? That's not a relationship. Well, I had one of those relationships without trust with my husband for yeah. a really long time because mm -hmm. of broken trust with my father. Mm. And I remember John and I being married for eight years and— um, Whenever he would hold me, I would start patting him like, okay, you know, yeah. that's that, you're getting too close. This is getting this is getting to something. And he'd be like, I'm not trying to have sex with you. I just want to hold you. <laughs> but that was actually more scary for me because wow. it meant vulnerability. Yep. Yeah. It meant intimacy. closeness. It meant intimacy. Mm -hmm. And so I remember we were married for eight years, and John said to me, Lisa, I am not your father. 
Wow. I am not your father. I am not going to wow. leave you. He said, now, wow. I don't know how long we need to be married before you're going to believe that. He said, maybe we're both 70, which mm -hmm. would be nine years from now. We could look at each other and say, Stop. wow, you're still here. Mm -hmm. He said, but we're going to miss a whole lot of fun mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. And so I said, no, no, it's not that. But I knew he was right. But here's the challenge. I didn't know how this is good. to get that back. I didn't know how. Right. And so, see, see exactly what you said. I got on my face and I said, hmm. God, Come on. my husband does not deserve to pay the penalty Come on. for a man who disappointed me, Ooh. which was my father. And I said, I don't know how to trust John. And this is what I heard the Holy Spirit say, just trust me. Yes. Just trust me. Oh Let's God. just start with trusting me. And if you can start Come with on. trusting me, mm -hmm. I can build a place where you can come to trust John. And I think a lot of times people disappoint us yeah. or we think we're the source. Jen, I was called, called bossy as well. Uh, so I, I, I get that. You know, we, we got to have everything in control, but control is an illusion. And control, yes. people that try to control everything is because they don't trust yeah. That if they're not in totally. control, yeah. they're going to get hurt. Yeah. They're going to yeah. get abandoned. Something yeah. bad's going to mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. And so I think that we can all just start with trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Wow. Yes. And lean not to our own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all of our ways. Mm -hmm. And He will make our paths yes. straight. There's a lot of crooked paths yes. right now. We're, we're, in, <laughs> we're in a season right now where we can't see what's around the corner. But right. I know this. Each and every one of us, no matter what our season looks like, all of us look different, different challenges, different, different dynamics. But I'm going to tell you this right now. God has already gone before you. Yes. And you yes. can trust Him. I think the, the Father being so safe and being so there for us in our every moment of no matter what we're going yeah. through. And I've just watched God in my life, just even in, in my darkest times and in my most amazing times, He just leads and guides us by His Spirit and in His Word every second of our lives. Like we are never alone. We're never in the dark. You know, He has an answer for us and He is speaking to us in every moment that we're never alone and He knows what to do and He'll give us the answer if we just ask Him, you know, Lord, here's the, the question, what do I do? And He will speak to you. You. He's so yeah. faithful. And something I learned as a little girl from my dad, um, I remember he took me hunting as a little girl. I was probably three or four and we got lost in the woods and it was dark and cold and I was getting scared. And he had me up on his shoulders uh, with his gun in his hand and uh, <laughs> we were trying to find the car. And I, he just said to me one thing that like, like you were saying stuck with me, what my father said. He said, just sing baby just sing. And I just began to sing as a little girl and, and sang throughout the whole forest until we ended up finding the car. And, you know, that's just like, Cece, what you were sharing, like worship, even our darkest moments, just worshiping God. Um, it just, it reaffirms our trust yeah. in Him, just declaring, God, you're faithful, even though it's dark, even though I'm scared mm -hmm. right now. You know, that just the daughter in us, would, the son in us would sing out, God, this is who you are. And you prophesy yourself right mm -hmm. into that. So I'm just so thankful that we can trust God, but even those moments when we're scared, you know, we can worship Him. And my dad modeled that beautifully. He, he sang solos in church, and um, it, my, both my parents just raised us in the, the love of worship and the love of who God is and how we can praise Him and get through anything. Wow. I was, um, as you were sharing your story about your experience, even with losing your brother and your dad's worship in I, I know we're talking about trusting the Father, and I believe that this, this is this this moment may really be ministering to someone because actually my my I got a little teary. I'm not a crier, mm -hmm. but I it took me back to the moment when my father went to be with the Lord mm -hmm. seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was wow. unexpected. We were actually leaving the Stellar Awards. He came to our award show. And um, I remember they got back home. I received a phone call that, hey, your dad just had a heart attack. And of course, I was daddy's girl. So I'm like, get me to Jessup right now. Mm -hmm. You know, because at wow. the moment, they didn't tell us that he was already gone. Wow. But I remember two things came to mind when you were telling your story that my mother said to us, you know, your father always told us that if I ever get a glimpse, 
I'm not coming back. Wow. If I ever see his face, I'm not coming back. And, and, and that came to mind. Wow. So when they called me, I was in the backseat of the car. I will never forget this. And this just came to me when you told the story, um, mm -hmm. talking about trusting God. Mm -hmm. They called and they said, he's gone. My brother said, he's gone. And immediately, my, the human Tasha, mm -hmm. I wanted to wail and cry and fall out. But every time I opened my mouth, Wow. What came out was, thank you, God. Mm. Like, I literally started saying, thank you, God, mm -hmm. because, because of the lessons that he taught mm. me, because he taught me how to trust you even yes. in this space. He taught me Come how on. to deal even in this season of grief. Mm -hmm. You know, trusting God, we're talking about that now, and that story came to mind. Every time I wanted to scream, I wanted to cry, yeah. and I remember he was very present in our family, so all of my cousins, he was like a dad to everybody. Mm -hmm. My cousin was in a car behind us, and we pulled over on the side of the road and she came up and grabbed me and she began to speak in her heavenly language oh, because that's what he taught us. Yes. He taught us wow. to trust him. So I'm saying Beautiful. thank you, God, Come and on. she's praying over me wow. in the spirit because even when you don't know what to say, mm. the Bible says that he, we, we have these utterances, right. you know, that, that yes. come from our spirit begins to pray. And yeah. that's what happened. And it, it was beca only because he taught us that. He right. was the foundation right. of, of our, I tell people this all the time, he was the foundation of our Christian life. If you want to wow. live like Jesus. Look at daddy. <laughs> and Beautiful. so even in that moment, all I could say was, God, I thank you for having the opportunity yeah. to have this person in my life who mm -hmm. modeled yeah. a life of Christ mm -hmm. before me. Yeah, so thank you for amazing. sharing your story. That just You're took so me back to that wow. moment, even for me. Thank you for sharing yours. And I just love what you just said. And I, I want to make sure people hear that, is yeah. that your father modeled it for you. Yeah. And we have Jesus who will model it for us. Those yes. who don't have an earthly father, that's mm -hmm. my, because that is so, that is the epitome of a good father. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. To show you how to praise God and honor God, even in your darkest times. Mm -hmm. But we have yes. a model in Jesus Christ that will teach us what to do, you know? no matter what you're going through, you know, so you're not left out. I just wanted people yeah. to know yep, that, yeah. that you're not left yep. out and you can trust God to, to take you through your, your hardest times, you know. Um, Lisa, yes. going back to what you said as far as um, not, not being in a relationship and not mm -hmm. being able to trust, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, and how God, I mean, your wonderful husband, again, God used him, but how God didn't leave you there. Beautiful. But I had to, I had to acknowledge it. Come on, that's and good. And I had to right. acknowledge it that that's it good. had been my choice. Your choice. Not to trust. Because wow. all of us, if we sat down, all have a whole resume mm -hmm. of wounding that's or right. dysfunction or mm -hmm. abandonment sure. or, or whatever. All of us are, we've, we've been the victims of sin and we have sinned. So I had to come to the place where I stopped saying, I'm not doing that. No, that's just you being weird. No, that's just who I am. Mm. I had to say, right. he's right. Mm. And God, yep. I yeah. don't know how to get free. And this wow. is something yeah. that I have learned through my life. As soon as I own a you mistake, own that's good. It no longer yeah, owns beautiful. me. That's good. As soon as oh, I own good. it, God meets me right there with a solution. We've talked earlier, for every problem, there's a solution. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Lisa, we're going to just start with who you can trust, which is me. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. if you see, the truth is, if I have entrusted my heart to God, mm -hmm. what can people do to me? Nothing. What can right. people do? And people say, well, you know, you've got to earn my trust. Well, mm, yes, behavior. Behavior, we should respond, uh, and we, we need to be wise. Yeah, but, but ultimately. But we yeah. ultimately trust God. That's right. Yes. And, and yes. so if God brings us in relationship with people, we can't live in a constant state of distrust. Right, that's so right. good. And suspicion. That's so We've good. Gotta, we got to believe the best of them and bring out yes. the best in them. That's so good because trust really brings freedom. Right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So many people are in bondage because of the pain they have experienced in the past. Right. And yeah. so this yeah. is so, so good. <laughs> so good. Yeah. And it's so true, Lisa, what you're saying, because we've all, like you said, we can we can take out a sheet and just start mm -hmm. going, this person betrayed me and this, yeah. I wow. was hurt here. Sure. Even those who didn't mean to hurt you, right. you're going to go yeah. through it, right? But when you put your trust in God, yes. like yes. your total trust yeah. in Him, 
because even now, I mean, people are going to, I'm going to disappoint people sometimes. I'm going to sure. hurt people. You don't mean to, but, right. but because right. we're all being refined and God is working on all of us, you know, yeah. I remember being in a place where I was betrayed and, and, and I was, you know, you want to nurse your hurt. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, You just kind of want to sit <laughs> just there for a, for a little minute. bit. Yeah. Yeah. But, the, but the Holy Spirit won't let you sit no. in it. Uh-huh. And I think that is so powerful. I had to choose to trust God. So I had good. to choose, yes. choose to handle yeah. that betrayal the way the, the Holy Spirit told me to, That's the way it. the Word of God told me to, yeah. or, I, or yeah. else I would have still been in it. Did you put right. it on social media? Because that seems oh, to be the thing not. to do. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> no. Thank no. God it wasn't even out then. But, <laughs> right. but absolutely not. You have to go to the Word. And I remember the Holy Spirit saying, now what's more important, my will or your feelings? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. And I was like, those are times you don't really want to hear the Holy Spirit. It's like, well, I didn't really yeah. hear that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah. but you said that that is so powerful. And sometimes people think that's harsh because yeah. their pain is real. We're not belittling your pain, mm-hmm. but you have to choose. Yes. If you want to live in this cage, if you want to live in bondage, mm. or if you really want to be set free. Because when you choose yes. to trust God yeah. and, and, and trust God in every relationship, then you're going to experience relationships better than ever before. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately, you know what? I trust you. A long time ago, Brian and I were fighting over our finances. And my mother-in-law, just really gently in love, she just said one simple thing. She said, you care way too much about money. And it convicted me to the core. And I had to go back to the Lord because I was operating out of a poverty mentality where I was adding numbers and crunching things and and controlling, making sure we had enough. And God had to pry my hands off what it looked like. And God spoke to me this one time. He said, "I, I love that your heart is for, you know, being a good steward, but two plus two with me, your father, equals whatever the heck I want it to equal. <laughs> not earthly That's math. That's right. Not yes, earthly amen. math. And so I think a, a trust with our so finances, true. a trust with I our mean, families, a trust with mm. God, you will provide for me, and I'm not going to keep it into my pea-sized little brain of how you're going to do it. You're going to do it supernaturally, right. but I'm going to trust you. I'm going to obey your voice, and you're going to provide for me in incredible ways. And our life has been nothing nothing but a testimony time after time, big risk after big risk of the reward of God coming in from left field where we had no idea where it would, but it all comes back to you have to trust and you have to obey. And then he does absolute supernatural work. That's really powerful. I think it's taking me a long time to learn that. Right. Um, when I was 18 years old, my my daddy, my best friend, my hero, got cancer and went to be with Jesus. And so much of my identity was in my dad. So much of my faith I learned from my dad. So much of my trust wow. was in my dad. And when I lost my earthly father, man, I really didn't know where to put my wow, trust. Wow. I really didn't know if I was safe. I really felt like now I'm on my own and now I have to take care of myself and I have to be stronger than I've ever had to be and I have to be more self-sufficient than I've ever had to be. And maybe there was some strength that came out of that, but I think I missed the part that Jen just spoke about. I missed mm-hmm. the part of you got to trust God now. You got to believe that He will carry you. You got to yes. believe that He will comfort you. He's going to bring other people into yeah. your life. I think That's my right. trust immediately just transferred to myself yeah. mm-hmm. in wow. my grief and in my confusion because I think my foundation, I think so much of my faith was tied into my dad's. I don't think it was my own yet. Yeah. I don't wow. think Jesus was personal to me yet. I think I was really good at the religion, but I think I missed my own personal relationship outside of having it via my own dad. And so then I had to learn who God was on my own and to trust Him on my own, to trust Mm. His Word on my own, to figure out what it meant to me on my own, to know Him as my ultimate Father on my own. And that's really transformed my Mm. life, that He is trustworthy, that I am safe with Him. And my dad was a good dad, but he was so terribly human (laughs) that he couldn't stay here for forever. (laughs) And it really really did a number on me to think, so how many other people am I going to trust and love and let in? And who's going to leave me. Wow. And so that, that's just been mm-hmm. something I've had to kind of unlearn. And I love that you said that, Jen, because I think it's been a process. You know, my dad has 
has been with Jesus for 13 wow. years now. And for me, I am still in this process of learning that God is a God who will never leave me even when I'm messing up or even when I'm struggling or even when I have questions and that He is trustworthy. And there's something about God, even if we've had good fathers, yeah. They're earthly and they're human and they can't stay with us That's for forever. Good, right? I love this verse in Psalm 27, 10. Um, it says, even if my father and mother left me all alone, the Lord would take me in. Beautiful. And that's true for anyone who's had family members who have left them or abandoned them or who were present but eventually went to be with God, that even though they can't be with us forever, mm. that God is with us forever. He takes us in and that we can trust Him. When you don't trust somebody, or when you don't have trust, when you don't trust God, uh, you find yourself living your life really with no peace, right? Right? Yeah. Because you're always wondering what this person gonna do, is this person gonna leave? So really the enemy is stealing your peace, Yeah. yeah. Right? right? Well, there's a big difference between guarding your heart mm -hmm. and imprisoning it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of yeah. people, when they don't trust God, they put their heart in lockdown. And when your heart is in lockdown, you you don't get any life and you don't give any life. And so there's no exchange. Right. It's yes. you're imprisoned. Uh, it's funny, I my team posted yesterday, a hardened heart will not keep you safe. And so many people were like, I had to harden my heart. This is what mm. happened to me. It actually ends up wounding yeah. wow. you. Wow. And so I Great. think we're talking about, I, my heart was imprisoned. My heart was in prison because I didn't trust God. So when we trust God yeah. and lean not to our understanding, which would be, well, here's what's happened in the past. This is what's happening now. This is what it yeah. feels like to me. I mean, guys, we all can be taken emotional hostage over here, but that doesn't mean it's the truth. Yeah. And so right. when we actually say, God, I'm going to trust you, yeah. you guard my heart. Yeah. 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 And I'm not going to lean onto my own stupid yes. understanding. Because yeah. our understanding can be skewed by what's happened to us yeah. in the past, the abuse, the neglect, the abandonment, whatever it is. And so yeah. I've loved this topic. Darlene Check said something that changed my life one time um, about her cancer battle of when a why there, there was no question of why she got sick. Sickness is from mm -hmm. the devil, and God is our right. healer. And so, you know, that's what we partner with is the truth of no matter what's happening. Well, God is our healer, and God is our provider. And yeah. And Darlene said that there was a time in her cancer journey that was so dark that she literally had no one uh, but the Lord. And she said that it was um, a precious time, mm -hmm. a precious time of dependence and trust that as she's been healed and as she's come out of that journey, she said to me one time with tears in her eyes, she said, I actually miss that darkness wow. because of the nearness of the presence of wow. the Lord in my greatest time yeah. of need and trust. And I think that's an invitation for all of us that God, we depend on you and we yeah. trust in you, um, that you are good and that you yeah. will do and be who you say yeah. you are no matter what I'm going through. And I think that's an anchor yeah. for us to trust him in everything and all, all things, things um, beyond our, our minds, as Lisa was yeah, saying. So powerful, so powerful. Let's pray, guys. Father God, yes. we thank you. We thank you because we can depend on you. We thank you because you are trustworthy. Now, God, we pray for all of those who are watching that they would come into relationship with you, that they don't know Jesus, they would accept him into their hearts, and that they would begin to um, get to know you because we have to know you in order to trust you. <laughs> and your word is so true, Father God. And so I pray that you would um, show yourself, reveal yourself strong yes, to those yes. who are hurting, those who feel like they can't trust anybody. Lord, I release your love to them right now, that they would be saturated in your love and that they would literally feel your arms around them and that they would learn to trust you, that you would bring people into their lives that would encourage them to trust you, Father God, yes. and that you would begin to show yourself strong in the broken places in their lives, Lord. We, we yes, know that Lord. your word is true and if they would open up their hearts and allow you in, that you would never let them down because you're a good father. Yes. And Lord, you promise never to leave us or forsake us. So Father God, we just thank you in advance for saving those who don't know you and also bringing us closer to yes. you so that we would walk 
by faith and not by sight, that we would yes. just do a trust fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we would just yeah. fall into your arms, yes, God, yes. And, and, and knowing that you cannot fail. So, Lord, we thank you for this word on today, and we thank you for total transformation in the area of fear, in the area of um, not being able to trust. We thank you because of your word and because of your Holy Spirit that people will be able to trust you like um, like only uh, you can with a with a father who is perfect father God and so yes. we thank you for who you are in Jesus name we pray amen amen at TBN our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.